as the Gripening is shortly to be delivered to the Swedish and Brazilian Air Forces, the Jazz 39 will undoubtedly continue to compete in a variety of global markets. The Gripen production line is held up until 2022, but Saab officials have suggested that they could sell enhanced versions of the older airframes in storage. However, not every country needs or even wants a state-of-the-art warplane. Although complicated high-end jet fighters like the Lockheed Martin F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, DAS Ultra Fail, and Eurofighter Typhoon dominate the headlines when it comes to the global fighter industry. While some nations, notably those with poor relations with the West, may choose Russian or Chinese made devise us, there is a sizable market for less expensive alternatives. The Saab Jazz 39 Gripen from Sweden dominates this market. The Jazz 39 is a cost-effective fourth-generation fighter of superior quality. The Nordic machine was originally developed in Sweden in the 1980s as part of that nation's efforts to maintain a neutral foreign policy posture. It is designed to be relatively inexpensive, simple to maintain, and capable of repelling any prospective aggressor. These qualities have made the Gripen an attractive option for some countries, including Brazil, South Africa, the Czech Republic, Hungary, and Thailand. As more advanced derivatives of the Swedish jet enter production, more nations will likely join the Gripen procession, despite the exorbitant price tags of competing aircraft. As they begin to search for replacements for their aging hardware, Croatia, Finland, and Bulgaria are a few of the options available to them. As a successor to its G-35 Draken and G-37 Vigan fighters, Sweden started developing the Gripen in 1979. The minimum requirement was a fighter with strong short field performance capable of Mach 2.0 speeds. Sweden expected to disperse its aircraft in the event of an incursion, so the planes needed to be able to operate from 2,600 foot by 30 foot landing strips. The most probable operating areas would be highways, so the aircraft had to be operable away from the comforts of formal air bases. The resulting aircraft was a single-engine, single-seat canard design propelled by a Volvo Flegmitter RM12, which was a derivative of the F-18S General Electric F400 and Forge Fower 100. It is a misconception that Sweden developed the Gripen wholly on its own. Many technologies, such as the engine, were outsourced to reduce costs. There have been two prior versions of the Gripen throughout its history. The vastly superior C and D models of aircraft replaced A and B models. Saab is presently developing an advanced next-generation Gripen model, the Jazz 39E-F Gripening, which is anticipated to be deployed to the Swedish Air Force in 2018. Brazil's Air Force will also fly it. The E-F variant improves the avionics and increases the range and payload capacity of the Gripens. The new Celex Raveni 05 active electronically scanned array radar, which replaces the older mechanically scanned PS05-A, is arguably the most significant feature. The Gripen is also equipped with extensive networking capabilities. The maximal takeoff weight of the new Gripen has been enhanced to over 36,000 pounds, up from approximately 31,000 pounds for the C-D variant. The majority of the rise in gross weight is attributable to an increase of more than 40% in fuel capacity. Additionally, the new aircraft is equipped with two additional hardpoints to increase its payload capacity. The aircraft is also marginally longer and has a wider wing span. As a consequence of the increased size and weight, the Swedes have adopted the Super Hornet F414 engine but have decided not to license produce it as they have in the past. A minimally armed Gripening can maintain Mach 1.2 without the use of its afterburner. <laughs>